A secant line intersects the graph of f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x at two points with x coordinates 3 and t, where t does not equal 3. What is the slope of the secant line in terms of t? Your answer must be fully expanded and simplified. And my apologies ahead of time if I'm a little out of breath. I just try to do some exercises in my office to get some blood moving, and I'm, I think I'm still a little out of breath. <laughs> anyway, so we want to find the slope of the secant line. And they essentially give us two points in the secant line. They tell us what x is at each of those two points. And then if we know what x is, we're able to figure out what f of x is at each of those points. So we can make a little table here. We know x, and we know f of x. So when x is equal to 3, what is f of x? Well, it's going to be 3 squared plus 5 times 3. Well, this is going to be 9 plus 15, which is 24. So this is going to be 24. And when x is equal to t, what is f of t? Well, it is going to be t squared plus 5t. And so we have two points now that are on this line. This is a secant line. It intersects our function twice. So it has these two points on it. And so we just have to find our change in y between these two points, change in y, and our change in x, change in x. And I'm assuming that y is equal to f of x. So our slope of our secant line is change in y over change in x. Our change in y, if we view this as our end point, the second one with the t's in is our endpoint. It's going to be that minus that. So it's going to be t squared plus 5t minus 24. And then in our denominator, our ending x minus our starting x is going to be t minus 3. Now they tell us our answer must be fully expanded and simplified. So maybe there's a way to simplify this a little bit. Let's see, can I factor the top into something that involves, that involves a t minus 3? All right, so in the numerator, let's see, negative 3 times positive 8 is negative 24. Negative 3 plus positive 8 is 5. So we can rewrite this as t plus 8 times t times t minus 3. And so we could say this is going to be equal to, if we cancel out the t minus 3's, or we divide the numerator and the denominator by t minus 3, it's going to be equal to t plus 8. Now if we wanted to be really uh, strict, mathematically strict, strict, this expression isn't exactly the same as our original expression right over here. What makes them different? Well, they're going to be true for all t's except where t equals 3. This thing right over here is defined at t equals 3. In fact, when t equals 3, this expression is equal to 11. But this thing up here was not defined at t equals 3. So if you wanted to be uh, particular about it, if you want this expression to be the exact same thing, you would say, you would say 4 t does not equal 3. Now this can take the same inputs as uh, this one right over right over there. But I guess they're assuming where t does not equal 3. So this, this, you could view this as maybe a little bit redundant. But this, would be a, this is the slope of the secant line in terms of t.